Mustelids are an extremely diverse group of mammals and they are known for being immensely tenacious and feisty. These animals can come in many different forms and they each play different roles in their ecosystems and seem to have their own unique set of skills. Some prefer to get their paws wet and hunt for aquatic creatures. Some are expert diggers and try to unearth their prey, and others are impressive land predators. Mustelids are famous for regularly taking down prey much larger than themselves, and some of them seem to never back down from a fight. In today's video, I will be going through some of the deadliest mustelids in the world, and I will be ranking them from least deadly to deadliest. Our first animal is an incredibly impressive aquatic predator, but it's not typically seen as a dangerous animal. The sea otter is the heaviest mustelid in the world, but it's also one of the smallest marine mammals. The word deadly doesn't really come to mind when you think of the sea otter, but these cute animals are the masters of their ecosystem. A sea otter's lung capacity is 2.5 times greater than that of a similar sized mammal, and they own the thickest fur in the animal kingdom which helps them to keep warm in cold waters. The vast majority of the world's sea otters are found in Alaska and Alaska's waters can be very treacherous. Orcas and sea lions are the main predators of sea otters but in recent years grey wolves in southwestern Alaska have started to hunt these animals too. Thankfully a large number of sea otters are found in and around kelp forests and these ecosystems offer protection to many aquatic creatures. Kelp forests are full of life and without this unique ecosystem many of the animals that inhabit them would soon disappear. The sea otters not only live in and around these ecosystems, but they also ensure their health and they do so by feeding on certain hard-shelled creatures. If we take a look at the sea otter's skull, it gives us an idea as to what they feed on. Their skulls are relatively chunky and robust, and they own a set of strong thick teeth. These teeth are perfect for crushing crustaceans and mollusks, and the sea otters target one hard-shelled creature that can cause serious damage to the kelp forests. Sea urchins feed on kelp, and if left unchecked, they can completely wipe out kelp forests. Only a few predators in the kelp forests are able to prey on these animals, and luckily the sea otter is definitely one of them. By controlling sea urchin numbers, sea otters are a valuable keystone species, but they don't only limit themselves to targeting hard-shelled creatures. Sea otters need to consume around 25% of their body weight each day and they famously use tools to crack open the shells of certain organisms. Only very intelligent animals are known to use tools, but sometimes the sea otters will go for a more direct approach with certain animals. They will sometimes target giant octopuses and slow-moving fish such as toadfish and Irish lords, and even though these animals are harder to catch, they are easier to dispatch. Sea otters, like many other otters, are shy around humans, but there have been a few individuals that have attacked and bitten people. In most cases, they will leave you alone if you try and flee, but it's a very different story if you're a tasty sea creature. Sea otters may not seem deadly at first, but they are incredible predators in their ecosystem, and their size and power means that they slot in at number 5. The American badger is a feisty little mustelid, and even though it may look very similar to the badgers of Eurasia, they are not closely related. The American badger behaves in a very different way to the badgers of Eurasia, and it seems to always be in a very bad mood. These animals max out at around 15 kilograms, and even though this is relatively small for a North American predator, they put this size to good use. The American badger is a predator, and it mostly targets burrowing animals. The majority of its diet is made up of ground squirrels, gophers, moles, marmots, and prairie dogs, and to get at these prey animals, they will dig down into their burrows. In some cases, American badgers will target more dangerous prey such as rattlesnakes and burrowing owls, and they will even take down animals a similar size to themselves such as skunks. They are great at dealing with changes in prey availability, and they will even store meals for a later date. In 2016, scientists at the University of Utah conducted an experiment where they left two deceased calves in the desert. Over the course of several days, two American badgers independently buried the animal carcasses, and then they came back for them at a later date. The American badger is an extremely aggressive animal if provoked, but if you leave them alone, in most cases they will leave you alone. This behaviour helps them to convince potential predators that they are not to be messed with, but they do fall victim to larger animals and cougars are thought to be some of their main predators. 
despite the fact that they are very difficult creatures to be around. American badgers are known to work together with other species. The American badger has been seen working with coyotes to hunt small mammals, and researchers have found that the coyote benefits by an increased catch rate of around 33%. The badgers force the burrowing animals out of their burrows and the presence of the coyotes keeps them in. This often means that there is no escape for the animals, and it seems as though this partnership is beneficial for both predators. The American badger's aggressive behaviour and adaptability allows them to be extremely deadly animals, and they're fit for number 4 on this list. The giant otter is the longest member of the muscular family measuring a whopping 1.8 meters in length and it's the second heaviest otter after the dense sea otter. These animals are found in the fresh waters of South America and they are one of the top predators in this ecosystem. The giant otter is a social species and they are usually found in family groups of 3 to 8 individuals. Living and hunting in groups increases their hunting success rates and it also keeps the younger members in the group safe from predators. Giant otter groups are extremely cohesive and cooperative, and one of the main reasons behind this is their communication. They are extremely noisy and they have a wide variety of high-pitched vocalizations, and they are believed to be the most vocal of all otters. <laughs> Adult giant otters have no serious natural predators, but it is possible that some of the largest black caiman specimens would be able to target them, and so would bull sharks that travel up rivers. Jaguars and anacondas may target young and weak individuals, but usually they focus on easier prey. The giant otter primarily feeds on the freshwater fish of South America, and as they are so large, they can target large and difficult fish such as catfish and plecos. They do most of their feeding in shallow waters and they can be very territorial and will aggressively protect valuable feeding areas. They will fight other otter groups in their area and they will even chase away caiman. In some rare cases, they will even predate on small caiman and anacondas, but they are much happier targeting fish. Unfortunately, these colossal freshwater predators are endangered today and most of their threats are human related. They are poached in many areas across South America, and they are also targeted in remote fishing communities as they are seen as competition or a threat. It's important that we protect these animals as they are essential to the South American ecosystem, and they are one of the most iconic predators in South America and the world. The giant otter's communication and intelligence gives them the edge over their competition, and for this reason they easily slot in at number 3. The honey badger is the only living species in its genus and it's famous for its tenacity and its fearlessness. Despite its name, it's not closely related to other badgers and it has more in common with weasels. There are quite a few muscilids that have a very similar colour scheme and appearance so this look is not unique to badgers. It's widely distributed across Africa, the Middle East and South Asia, and these areas are home to many dangerous creatures. The honey badger openly struts across the open grasslands of Africa, and not many creatures can do this on a regular basis and survive. Just like the American badger, the honey badger is known for being extremely aggressive and it rarely backs down from a fight. They will happily fight snakes, lions and leopards and it's shocking to see how much damage these animals can take and still walk away. Honey badgers max out as around 18 kilograms and this is relatively small for a land animal in Africa. You'd think that it would be easy for an African predator to take down a honey badger but they have a few adaptations that help them in life or death situations. They have thick, loose skin around their necks, and this means that it's hard for predators to hang on to them and land a killer blow. This skin is loose enough for them to turn around and bite back, and their claws are far from useless too. Like many other members of the muscular family, the honey badger is a great digger and it can use its claws to dig into the flesh of attackers. One of the more little known facts about the honey badgers is that they are extremely intelligent, and they have incredible problem solving abilities. Famously, one captive honey badger named Stoffel would constantly escape his enclosure just to steal food and fight lions, and each time he would come up with a new way to get out and would often use tools in his daring escapes. Honey badgers will feed on pretty much anything in their ecosystem, and in some locations in India, they have been known to dig up human bodies. 
Thankfully, this behavior is rare and the majority of their diet is made up of small vertebrates. The honey badger is not the deadliest predator on this list, but it's one of the hardiest animals in the world, and it's possibly the best mustelid at fighting back against predators. For this reason, it slots in at number two, and next up is the deadliest mustelid in the world. The wolverine is the largest land-dwelling member of the mustelid family, and it's known for being one of the strongest and most ferocious animals of its size. It's found in the northern parts of North America and Eurasia, and in these areas, it's a solitary carnivore with an extremely varied diet. Wolverines are primarily scavengers, and they will often track other predators so that they can feed after them or even steal their kills entirely. The wolverine's skull is substantial, and even though it doesn't have the strongest bite force, it's able to chew through bone. This means that they can make the most of a carcass, and they are able to feed on almost all parts of an animal. When the wolverine needs to, it will happily hunt for its own food, and unsurprisingly, it can easily take down prey many times its own weight. They usually target small to medium-sized animals, but they have been known to take down bison, moose, and other similarly-sized predators such as the Eurasian lynx and Canadian lynx. The wolverines of Eurasia are known to hunt more regularly than the wolverines of North America, and it's believed that they do this because the predator densities are less dense in Eurasia. Just like the American badger, they will cache food in plentiful months, and this behavior is very useful for mothers with kits. Wolverines have a few natural enemies across their range, with bears, wolves, and cougars being their most bitter rivals. All of these animals have been known to kill wolverines, but wolves are known to kill more wolverines than any other predator. They will usually fight back and try to escape from larger predators, but as the wolves hunt them in packs, it's hard for them to escape. To be able to survive in the cold, competitive ecosystems of North America and Eurasia, you have to be an extremely hardy animal, and the wolverine is one of the toughest animals in the world. If you think I should have included any other animals in this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.